just stay calm, Joe. Let's see how long Joe can stay calm for. And no, that's not a challenge, Misha. <laughs> That's Joe. Fine. Well, he doesn't need an introduction, really. Misha, Apex, Nurburgring, fantastic. What do you do at the Nurburgring? You, you do, do laps. Yeah, and have food. And have food. And, and hang out with mates. And record podcasts. And record podcasts. Yes. yes. Check out the podcast, Drive Talk Podcast. We're about to go out and do some laps in that weapon behind. So I thought we'd just have a quick walk around with Misha. This is our GR86. By the way, you can win this car. Can I do a little plug of for ourselves? Of course you can, yeah, do, so, you can do a big plug. Yeah, so you can do win this car completely for free. All you need to do is register on gap.online, then follow the instructions in the email. Uh, it's basically helping us raise awareness for our new company where we'll be developing a road and track app. As you can see here, because race car, it has a wing. This wing is actually from BMW M240 Cup car. Joe should be familiar with that. Uh, well, because he's a BMW guy or an Audi guy. It depends who's paying him, I believe, right? And uh, what <laughs> yeah. time. If you look later underneath, you'll see lots of like suspension components, uh, such as trailing arms, tow arms, uh, solid mount bushes that you will not see, but they are there. The only thing we're missing uh, is actually LSD and shorter final drive that will help us to accelerate faster. We will lose top speed, but no one cares about top speed with this car anyway. And also, since you know Joe, Miltec, the best. Oh, yes. Joe. Yeah. How can Ti I not recognize those massive tips? titanium <laughs> tips? Yes, these titanium tips is probably the most expensive part on the car, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we have Pro Track wheels. Don't ask me about ET or the size or anything. I'm just a driver. I have no idea what's on it. I know the t tire size because it actually says on the tire that it's, I think, 245 somewhere. Where is it? Three, two, one. There we go. 245. 4017, yes. Nankang Air 1 semis uh, work very well. Uh, they are cold right now, so uh, maybe the first couple of laps will be a bit slidey, but uh, you, well, the first couple of corners, sorry, they'll be a bit slidey and then should be, get better. On the back, I don't know what kind of brake pads, something better than original to compensate for the big brakes on the front. But before, maybe a quick look at the interior, we have currently uh, Ricardo Pole Position seats. Uh, we are waiting for the harnesses, possibly also the roll mount or like roll bar or half cage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, lowering seating mounts from speed engineering as well. You might as well look in the back for more emptiness. It's even emptier than your excess heart. So what we have here is another brace from Hard Race. There are lots of Hard Race and Cusco parts on the car because JDM and here you see um, Bilstein suspension adjusters for rebound and compression and this is actually motorsport race suspension coming straight from GT86 GT86 cup car they made a race version they actually also have a race version of GR86 I think but um, anyway that's that's what was available at the time on the front Brembo big big brake kit the so-called RS big brake kit the same that you can find on the Megan RS combined with PFC brake pads sorry, PFC brake discs and also brake pads actually as well. We are missing currently a front splitter, so the car is understeering slightly. Power is completely stuck. There are a couple of mods underneath, however, so we can give you a brief look of what we're working with. As mentioned, power is stuck. There will be a remap coming in one week or so. I'm waiting just for the remap guy from Atomic Shop in Nürburgring to come back from his holiday. Everyone deserves a holiday uh, and yeah. When you um, say stock power, so what are we running? 230 horsepower yep. uh, from a four-cylinder 2.4 FA24 engine of Toyota. Now, they are known for being quite, I would say, uh, drama queens. So, first of all, it took almost a year to for many customers to actually get their car because there were actually quite some recalls and apparently it had to do with sealant. Well, they probably haven't fixed my car because when we were checking up the engine, we installed actually like a baffled sump and a larger oil pan to avoid these kinds of issues and also oil cooler and everything. When we took off the sump, we already saw the sealant inside the engine or like coming up or like 
great. So luckily we scraped it off. It should not be an issue. We fixed the pickup slightly as well. And uh, in addition, we installed also like um, crankcase uh, ventilation system and the oil cooler as mentioned. Uh, there's also bracing from uh, Cusco, which is not only good for the strut towers, where you can see also the Bilstein with uh, adjustable camber plates. Um, what I love about the Cusco mount is actually that also braces the brake master cylinder. So your brake pedal feel is very stiff and you need a driver excuse, so we're missing a front splitter. And your shoes, I mean, they, they obviously make you a lot faster. Yes, absolutely. So, so people can see the, the, the foot action and asking why, uh, why I'm using my left foot for the brake and why I am applying gas at the same time with the brake while sh changing down gears. For true petrol heads, they understand how it is, but it's always funny on social networks as like Facebook or TikTok where the audience is either too old or extremely young and have no idea. And it's like, he doesn't know how to drive for shit. He's braking with his left. My driver instructor told me never to use left foot for the brake. <laughs> there are a lot of things that your driver instructor has not told you just like when you bought your car they told you how fast it is but they never told you how fast it could be wait so you're suggesting there are internet experts out there then misha yes yeah, so lots of couch wow. experts okay lots of uh, yeah. yeah yeah i've never ever but, but, experienced but they are that. great for the algorithm because they share their videos with their friends and tell them look at that idiot and their friends half of them might say okay that's an idiot and half of them look that's actually interesting content. I might subscribe. Thank you for sharing this guy. <laughs> and if they don't, they're still going to watch it. And we have all the AdSense and we can do stupid stuff to please our actual audience uh, with the content more on. So keep on going. <laughs> exactly. Nice. Well, let's, uh, let's jump in, mate, and um, enjoy this rather lovely evening. I'm it's guessing good. It's, it's going to be... It's not too hot. It's not too hot. It's not too, uh, not too cold. It's, nope. uh, it's perfect. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Let's go. I haven't been around here. I can't believe I'm going to say this. 2021. Really? And I came over the week. Surely not. Yeah. I, Was that the last time you did a lot? By the way, this I is your so. hotel card. Oh, thank you, mate. Yeah, so, Appreciate so it. they can get less mad at you for yes. losing stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah, 2021 in the M4 that I had, that manual M4. Wow. Yeah, and then you took me out from various things as well for not seeing. Did it? No. Last time we were together was in a car with David Pithart in the M3 in a taxi. No. Yes, I haven't. I don't remember driving you in anything. You to took me around in the Cupra in your. Did I? Yeah, yeah, in your race okay. car. Yep. Oh yeah, I think yeah, I think we did. Uh, and I took you around in one of your rentals. Power. <laughs> Come on. Wow. 
me next. Especially with me in it. <laughs> you must feel the extra 100 kilos. Right? I don't know, I'm actually almost never driving alone. Oh, okay. I cannot remember the last time I drove alone, to be honest. Yeah, so it's... Uh... Wow, the extra pace.
that was just that was amazing it was so much fun yeah glad you enjoyed perfect balance like yeah i've been really scared around him on laps by yeah. you and david pittard and stuff um but that was just i, I enjoyed every second of it you know because I, I had time to think in between the sections yes and realize what was happening realize what was happening and then you'd hit a section it's like he's not even touching the brakes oh no. we're going through here flat you know yeah. like yeah. Wow, that was great. That was, oh my God. And Amazing. it was such, the conditions, the evening. Yeah, uh, good. Yeah, yeah. Level almost, was every, oh. almost no traffic and the traffic that we had was still very doable and enjoyable. Yep, yep. So it was uh, very cool, very cool. Wow, mate. Wow. I mean, you've like, it, you know, I think the last lap I went out with you was about two years ago, let's say. Yeah. Give or take. And I've always looked up to your driving and always thought you're incredible. But in those two years, You've Every day just, is a school day. Uh, yeah, I mean, yes. mate, you're I, 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 obviously it's a different car, but you're just so smooth now. Everything's yes. just lovely and refined, and it's wow. also a big difference between because this is like my car. Yes, it is my car. We're yep. gonna be giving it away uh, soon, so sure. I'll be saying saying goodbye. But that's the big difference because most of the laps on my channel, it's first lap with the car only yep. ever. So it takes me like a couple of corners to get used to it, and then we start driving. Sure. And even then, still people are like, oh yeah, why are you going ten kilometers per hour slower than person X Y Z, or uh, why are we so slow? Yeah, because a not my car, b I don't know the car. Yeah. And when you compare the laps I'm driving with other people's cars and this, here I can use literally like every microsecond millimeter of the of the track it's yep. the same like when we overtook this camera went on the grass i'm like yeah uh, yes. I, I know what's gonna happen you know it's yeah. uh it's uh, yeah you've been there done that before. yeah exactly like even a bit of uh off-roading is uh is okay you shouldn't be doing it but yeah it's, uh yeah so there is that well through there it was almost it was safer for you to anticipate him potential uh, coming yeah. out yeah and just running a bit of a ride because yeah. you, you've been through there before you know exactly. what it's like and also it's brunching so you got to entertain him a little bit <laughs> you know, like, um, yeah. that was oh mate that was brilliant what a piece of kit cool. what a piece of kit I love all the sounds and the noises the dip yes. and everything you can hear in here yeah Oh, and brilliant. no active sound speakers anymore. We oh. took it out. So oh, do these actually such... come with active yes, sound? Yes, okay. so I had to take it out. Yeah. Do they buy them from BMW? Or? Uh, probably. I don't know. They buy it from <laughs> everyone at this point, I think. Cool. Should we do one more for yeah, man. my channels? Yeah, so, absolutely. Buy, subscribe, like, share, and all that yeah. kind of stuff. And yeah, th th thanks a lot as always, Misha. <laughs> that, was, that was absolutely epic. If you haven't seen our podcast uh, on the Drive Talk podcast channel, um, then make sure you do check that out. And uh, yeah, check out Misha's video of our lap, which will probably go out before mine because I'm useless with editing. I don't know. Uh, but, um, no, mine will go at the same time your podcast goes live. Oh, it's live. a podcast goes live. Yeah, yeah, so it should cool. be. It, it's probably already live then, hopefully. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know me too well. Cool, mate. Thanks right. a lot, Misha. Yeah, thank you. You're a legend, man. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Yeah.